Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to install the steering wheel spacer on a Subaru BRZ or the Toyota GT86. This is the spacer and uh, this instruction uh, works for many many cars because uh, the same spacer fits uh, on a lot of uh, uh, Japanese uh, cars, Subaru, Toyota. This is a picture of the finished job. This is a younger Subaru on which the same spacer fits. And these are other uh, cars from uh, Toyota and even uh, Lexus that uh, on which the steering wheel spacer, the same product fits right away. So the same instruction you are going to see here are uh, valid for uh, all uh, this car and many more uh, for which we sell this uh, steering wheel spacer for. Uh, okay, uh, first thing is always uh, uh, pulling out the negative uh, connector of the battery to avoid uh, warning lights. We have to go in the car and uh, open the two little uh, windows you have at the sides of the steering wheel. Normally on the steering wheels you have uh, two little uh, holes in which uh, uh, insert the screwdriver to actuate the spring that uh, make uh, free the airbag unit. This uh, specific car has uh, this uh, sort of uh, window on each side of the steering wheel. When you have uh, opened the window or you have found the hole, you have to look for uh, an elastic uh, spring, uh, which uh, is uh, normally no more than one inch or even half an inch inside of the side of the steering wheel to free the mechanism that locks the airbag unit. In this specific car it was not so easy to find those springs and uh, as you can see I had to go under the steering wheel with the flashlight to look for the, the clip spring. When uh, you find it, uh, the airbag pops out for about uh, half an inch, one centimeter, right closer to where you uh, actuate uh, the, the spring. Here you can see it, when you actuate it pops out, okay? Uh, you have to unlock both uh, springs and at that point the airbag simply comes out. Now you have to disconnect the airbag connector First, you have to lift that yellow clip, which is a sort of secure lock. Then you can pull out the uh, connector of the airbag. That's it is the horn connection. On some cars, you simply pull it out, while on this one, it's very hard. So I left it uh, where it was, and I simply uh, disconnect the main white connector you see there, and leave uh, and work with the airbag pending on the, on the steering wheel. At this point you can loosen the central uh, nut and uh, move the shake the steering wheel to be sure that it goes back and forth in the steering column, like this. Because uh, after years some steering wheel uh, make a sort of a little glue effect with the steering column and if you try to pull them out after you have removed the nut it comes out suddenly, very, very uh, quickly, and you you risk to hurt yourself and to rip off the the wires. Okay, this is a, a comparison between the steering wheel spacer and the steering wheel. As you see, I replicate all the little shapes, all the ribs and slots on the steering wheel spacer from the core of the, the steering wheel itself. Okay, gently make the wire go across the top slot, the little one, and uh, push the black part of the steering wheel spacer in the shaft of the steering wheel column. It may be a little hard, but uh, it goes. And uh, then you can uh, use the car uh, main nut to tighten the uh, steering wheel spacer black part in place. If your car has the steering wheel buttons, the kit will be supplied with that harness, which are simply going to plug in the existing connector. It has to make a click and uh, then you can go on inserting the steering wheel shaft. You see that uh, groove, it must be uh, on the top and it, is, uh, it helps to keep the spline in the correct orientation. So it makes it possible to have the steering wheel still straight when you insert it in the steering wheel spacer.
Okay, the steering wheel spacer is on the car. Now you have to go close to the steering wheel spacer and make the wires go across the slot gently. Uh, I want to share with you this little mistake that I'm making. Do you see that I am handling the airbag wire and I made it go on the same uh, slot of the black harness and later on I will show you that the correct way is uh, to make the airbag wire go down on the other uh, slot because uh, it makes a better uh, way to engage the airbag without uh, being uh, under stretch but uh, now just forget about this you can uh, go on and uh, you can push the steering wheel on the shaft of the steering wheel spacer tight the central nut and connect the steering wheel uh, white connector to the harness which uh, you find in the kit obviously if you have the that connector then uh, you can uh, at this point uh, insert the airbag in place and here you see my mistake i don't have uh, the possibility to insert the connector in the airbag and at the same time to place the airbag back uh, in the steering wheel correctly without having the wire too stretched uh, luckily i can uh, correct this mistake because i can uh, push back the um, uh, yellow harness for the airbag inside the slot and make it uh, choose another route going down in uh, the, the slot at the bottom of the steering wheel and now I have less room to work to insert the connector back in place but uh, I am sure that when the airbag will be fully engaged in the steering wheel the wire will be not under stress now simply push the airbag back in place just uh, like when you press the horn and you are pissed off to somebody okay that's in and the horn must move uh, like before okay you're done the spacer uh, is on and the job is finished you just have to reconnect the battery close uh, the windows at the side of the um, steering wheel and check that uh, everything is working uh, properly turn on the car the warning lights must go off act the stalks they have to return uh, by themselves and uh, the steering wheel must not make any ticketing and strange noises while you turn it. We check the um, steering wheel buttons, the volume goes. It's uh, not uh, possible that uh, only one or a few uh, button works and the other not. When you uh, connect the big connector to our harness, everything uh, works uh, properly. The volume, uh, the um, radio station, the um, menu on the dashboard, uh, to switch the functions or the instruments. As I said at the beginning, the spacer works for many cars, for Toyota, Lexus, Subaru. The steering wheel buttons may have different functions on the other cars, but uh, they must work all uh, the same. Uh, despite uh, the number and the type of function they have. And that's it. If you like this video, share it. And uh, if you have questions, you can ask. Looking forward to see you next time. Bye-bye.